very useful feature of the Sweet CRM, which I think a lot of people will enjoy. So let's say you have a job that is uh, really resource intensive and you don't want it to be executed right away when a user does something in the system. So it could be like, a, um, let's say, a cleanup that needs to be done of data or just something that's so user intensive that you don't want the user to sit there and wait. So what you would do is you would create what is called a scheduled job and it would be executed at a slightly later moment. Uh, the gist of it, just the overview, is that a job gets put into the job queue and then the next time that the cron job runs on the server, it's going to pick up, notice that there is a job that needs to be done and then it's going to execute the job. So the cron normally runs every minute. So that means that if you submit the job right now to the job queue, the next time uh, within like one minute period, it's going to pick it up and then it's going to do it. So we're going to deconstruct exactly the way that it's uh, set up. And there's two parts to this. So the first one is we schedule the actual job. We tell the system what job needs to be done. And then the second part is actually performing the job. So there's a class that is actually going to perform the work that it needs to perform. The, <clears throat> the first part is uh, we're just going to instantiate a scheduled job object. Uh, so this is what it's going to look like. So uh, I'll try to make a blog post with the code so it's a bit easier to follow. So we have here uh, the, um, we're requiring the file that contains this class, so the scheduled job class. So we have our scheduled job object. So within this object, we're going to perform, this is like a simple example. So uh, we're going to set the name. So this is something like, give it a useful descriptive name because you will see this inside the logs. And when you read the logs, it's going to be easier for you to understand what job is actually being uh, executed um, and the status of the job. So for example, if something failed, you'll see exactly what failed with what description. Uh, now we're going to give it the assigned user ID. So one is the admin. So by default, I just give it one uh, as the assigned user ID. So who's the person that uh, created the job? Um, the scheduled job, who is the person that assi that's assigned to the job? Then the scheduled job data is this is the part where you're actually passing the info that is going to be executed by the script that then executes the job. So we're scheduling the job, shipping it off to another script, and then the other script is going to pick up this data and use it. So we're going to JSON encode it um, <clears throat> and then pass it like so. This is going to be available in the arguments um, property. So I'll, we'll, we'll, we'll see what this is, uh, how this is accessed a bit later on. So then we specify the target, we'll say that this, for the scheduled job, the target is going to be the following class. So the convert lead custom. And then we're going to uh, actually queue the job. So the, uh, we're going to say, okay, we're shipping it off. It's going to go in the job queue of job that needs that need to be performed. Uh, so this is the queue object. And then in the queue object, we execute the submit job method with all of the uh, info that we built up above. So that whole object that we just built up with all this info is going to get submitted here. So this is my, uh, my, my little code just to let me know that it did create it. And this is actually a pretty useful uh, function that I highly recommend using. There's another video that I have on the channel that explains it. You know what, give me just a sec. So this is the video that explains how this um, custom function works and I highly recommend you implement this. This is going to make your life a lot easier. So, <clears throat> so moving right along, we have here the actual example of the, uh, of the job that needs to be created. And um, let's take a look where it needs to be created. So you have this convert lead custom. This is the, the class name. And then we're going to create the following file. So it's going to go into the custom extension modules, schedulers, ext schedule tasks. And then this is going to be the name of the class. So that's very important. The naming convention needs to be respected in order for this to work. So, uh, okay, perfect. 
the basic structure of it, so this is the, the very basic structure, is that we have the class that matches the name here and obviously the class here. And inside that we have two methods. So the run method and then the sub set job method. You, uh, you need to have both of them in order for this to work. So um, when the system, okay, so I'll show you how this looks as a more like a live example. So to pick up the arguments that you have inside the, uh, that you have passed along before, so we have these arguments that we want to be available in the job when it gets executed. We're going to pull them in the following way. So this run method is going to, uh, we're going to do it like this. So HTML entity decode arguments and then uh, JSON decode arguments with a uh, flag of one. And then this is going to make them available in the following format. So it's going to turn them into an array, which is accessible this way so we can access the different array items in the following way so we have here delete id inside the actual job we're going to be able to get them this way here so you know what I'll actually i'll pull this here <clears throat> and i'll put this in the code oh okay it's already there okay perfect and there you go so you basically then perform whatever the job needs to perform so in this case it it needed to convert a lead and do a whole bunch of things. And uh, just keep in mind that whatever you're doing here, this is still going to execute potentially your logic hooks. So if you have a contact bean and you're executing uh, the save command, you're going to execute the after save logic hook on the contact bean if you have a logic hook set up on the after save uh, method. So. It's just a heads up, like don't worry about it too much, but just, just keep this in mind. Whatever you're doing in the scheduled jobs also executes the uh, logic hooks. So I hope this video clarified things a little bit for you. If it did, please do leave a like so I see people uh, find these videos useful and also subscribe as more of these will be made in the future. Thank you so much and have a great day.